I started a YouTube channel about eight months ago, and I've learned a lot of things along the way, a lot of failures, a few wins, but overall, just kind of a change of attitude with how I approach YouTube. And something that might motivate you guys from finally starting your YouTube channel. So I would like to kind of take you guys through the journey of my filmmaking experience and my experience with YouTube and everything that led me to the point of starting a YouTube channel, but also kind of what lies in the future. So I'd like to start with kind of my journey and my experience with filmmaking. For me, my passion for filmmaking started with hanging out with friends and making fun and stupid videos with friends. And so after that, I started taking it a little bit more seriously and started volunteering for a local TV show. Uh, and then I ended up producing a TV show and kind of started understanding a little bit more how the industry worked. And after I graduated from high school, I went to university and studied in film production. I think that's kind of when I really started to learn all about the roles in filmmaking. And because I always operated, I kind of thought that I wanted to be a director for a while, but then realized after a few years that I wanted to be a cinematographer. I really, really enjoyed manipulating the image and kind of manipulating the audience's emotion through light and camera decision and camera movement and for me that was incredibly interesting and I just loved it so much and so uh, once I graduated from film school I struggled for so long to try to make it as a cinematographer and to try to survive and live and just make enough money to, to do what I loved you know so I struggled for years and I made very, very little money. And I lived like in this shitty apartment for so long. And I never knew if I was able to pay my bills for the next month for so many years. And I lived in this state of uncertainty and, and worry and stress. And I gained the weight and it was just a huge kind of stressful experience and I lost the whole reason why I got into filmmaking. And so for me, everything kind of changed the day that I decided to start a YouTube channel. Because I wanted to be a cinematographer and because I wanted to be a filmmaker for so long, I my ego had gotten so big that I just felt like it was a failure or I felt like it was embarrassing or I felt like my network would stop contacting me if they saw that I started a YouTube channel. So I pushed the idea of starting a YouTube channel for so long and for about seven years, that's it was on the back of my mind. It's something I wanted to do, but I was just too scared to kind of take that initial jump and my ego or I was worried about what people would think of me was so present and so in the way of what I really wanted to do that it prevented me from trying something that I wanted to try. And so a few years ago, I was able to work on this amazing project where I got to travel all over the world and film musicians and do a lot of really interesting work and kind of take control of that project. And it allowed me to, you know, shoot, to direct, to edit, to see every aspect of a project from beginning to the end. And it gave me so much confidence in myself, which was something that I hadn't had in so many years, that I was actually able to do a project and do something good and do something of quality that I was actually proud of. And it's at that moment that I was like, okay, it's now or never, you know, I have to start this channel now. And that's kind of what I did. So eight months ago, almost nine months ago, I started my first channel. The first three videos did really, really well. It started the channel and a lot of subscribers came and a lot of likes and a lot of comments and attention on those first three videos. 
and it felt so good it felt so nice and i was like okay finally i'm actually doing something right like i've never gotten so many views on anything that i've shot i was for the first time i was actually really really happy with people seeing my work i was still a little embarrassed but at least it was going somewhere and then everything just kind of went downhill from there because i don't know the youtube algorithm maybe picked up the first few videos but it wasn't good enough i didn't understand how youtube worked i didn't understand what people wanted and i still don't understand what youtube wants but i got lost in trying to think and trying to analyze what i thought people wanted to see and quickly realized how that just wasn't me it wasn't who i was and it wasn't the whole purpose of, of starting a YouTube channel because the whole point of starting a YouTube channel was a creative outlet for me to kind of pour into it and make something that I really wanted to do. And it's what all the content creators talk about. It's the good life. It's you're creating content. You're, you're, you know, you're living your dream. And it, for me, it was quickly becoming, oh, what do people want to see and not so much what I want to do and losing myself in that entire process. And I think a lot of people kind of motivate you to just start because yes, the most important thing is to just start. But I think even more important than just starting is not giving up. And I think it's also important to share all the steps along the way and when things work out when things don't work out and how you kind of adapt and how you just don't give up so if you are trying to start a youtube channel and or you've started and you haven't seen any success just honestly just keep going keep doing research and keep looking up editing tips to get better edited videos look up how to keep people's attention span try to see what fits your style and what you can be happy creating and again if you're able to live off of what you love for me YouTube just really sparked that joy in filmmaking that I had lost while working on film sets creating content on YouTube has made me so much happier than anything I was doing as a cinematographer because it's me I can see when I do a good job and I can see when I do a bad job and I'm the one person responsible for the entire quality of the video. So that put a lot of pressure on me, but in a great way because it motivated me to go out and shoot and be more productive and create more projects and stop waiting around because if you wait around for something to happen, it's never going to happen. You have to put yourself out there and you have to go out and shoot and film every day and post your videos on YouTube. If it's a vlog, if it's a cinematic reel, whatever, just go and post and trust me, it's going to be absolutely worth it. I think at the end of the day, as long as I'm having fun and as long as I'm enjoying the process, for me, that's all that's important. All right. Well, that was kind of a quick sum up, a little bit different video than usual, but I just felt like it was important to share that with you guys and for you guys to get a better idea of who I am as a person and who I am as a person and who I am as a filmmaker. Um, so yeah. All right, thank you so much for watching this, guys. I'm Renee, and I'll see you guys in the next video.